Good morning, Mr. Jeffrey Rebello, Dr. Rakesh Mohan Joshi, Dr. Gurmeet Singh, Mr. Marcelo Pereira Magne, Mrs. Shanaz Sheikh, Mr. Khalil Jilani Sheikh, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this technical session on plantations as we commence the 129th annual conference of Upasi. We are meeting again in person after a hiatus of three years. The world we live in has gone through transformative changes in this time. And our plantation industry has grappled with its own challenges. Tea, coffee, and rubber prices have seen declining trends for years. Our fortunes are tied to the supply shocks due to unfavorable climate events or political unrest in other plantation crop growing countries. As if that was not enough, inflation will push up input prices and wages, and we will face a tightening cost structure going forward. This year's technical session explores viable options to help us get out of the commodity trap. The topics chosen today span quality improvement, innovation, differentiation, and marketing strategies to increase our profitability. Our first speaker this morning is Dr. Rakesh Mohan Joshi, Director, Indian Institute of Plantation Management, Bangalore. Dr. Joshi is a food technologist, a distinguished academician, an eminent author, and a renowned expert in international marketing. He's also the professor at the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, IIFT, New Delhi, and a Harvard Business graduate who has been associated with several multilateral organizations associated with several, uh, with including the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, and the Asian Productivity Organization. He will share with us today his insights into the current international marketing scenario and what initiatives and strategies we will need to, to undertake to gain market access, both in India and abroad. I welcome Dr. Joshi to make his presentation on understanding global dynamics, transforming Indian plantations. Dr. Joshi. You know, as uh, Sri Cheryanji has already talked about, that you know, the plantation industry is going through very tough times. And the times are tough because the cost of inputs are rising like never before. And I think I'll try to discuss it Two things is, let me show my ignorance that plantation industry is very new to me. So I know, don't know anything. So if I don't know anything, I am uh, liable to make mistakes. So if I make a mistake, that kindly excuse me. Uh, but what is very important that I think I wanted to, as a professor of international marketing, wanted to tell about this, that you know, I'll just uh, give you a glimpses of you know, how the markets in the international uh, you know, this thing operate and how I think uh, we can leverage upon them from what is happening. Uh, uh, this is today, you know, as you are aware that, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think not aware because you are a part and parcel of this prestigious organization 129 years before, 129 years before, there will be few organizations, not only in India, but across the world, which are so old and you are surviving, following the tradition. Yesterday I was asked to come to the, that some gala dinner, and I was told that you have to put the black dress. So you know, you are following the tradition. So it's very prestigious. And uh, you know, only thing that uh, herein I'll try to talk about, that uh, in uh, 1947 when India became independent, tea share in India's export was 11%. All these commodities were export-oriented commodities. Now today, where we stand in the export, I think let's, uh, you know, uh, introspect on that. And, you know, you see the data coming from so many government organizations, Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India, State Government, you know, Tamil Nadu, 
Maharashtra, Karnataka, so many, everybody gives the data. You see the data, everybody shows that, you know, because, you know, every data has got a purpose. And the purpose of these data is show that how you have grown. But only thing is I will like to tell you that, you know, what others are doing in the world and in case can we learn something from that. And I think only one thing that I wanted to say is that whatever the comments I make is my personal comment under no circumstance, it reflect the comment of the institute I represent. Because I'm a government organization, uh, government organization, we are doing good. Two things. I thought, you know, I'm highly grateful to Mr. Cherian. After, in 19, 2006 and 7, uh, 6, 7, you know, after the then chief minister of Gujarat, he is one person who invited me in the, after the first meeting. So he invited me for this and therefore two things is whether I should tell you that the plantation industry is doing great and you don't need an improvement or I should tell you the truth. So let me tell you a small story that you know one day Dhatrashtra was not uh, you know getting a sleep in the night. So he called Vidur. So he asked the Vidur, so he Vidur ko bulao. So Vidur came. So Vidur said, that, sir, tell me what you want. Because, you know, we have a, we have a tendency to say, yes, sir. You have seen that, yes, Prime Minister Syria, the BBC. So, Sulabha Purusha Rajan, Satatam Priya Vadina, Apriyastu Pathyasa Vakta Shrutacha Durlabha. It's easy to find people who say you are doing good. And you read any report of the, any of the commodity board, they'll say they have done wonders. Commodity board will say they have done wonders. But what they have done, only you know. Only the bearer knows where the shoe pinches. Number one. Now last week, you know, I was meeting with some of the UN officials and they said that, you know, where do you work? I said that, you know, I am an international professor of marketing because, you know, you know uh, uh, that last week I was at the World Dairy Summit where I work with these, you know, uh, uh, the different international experts. Because what is this plantation? I said the whole world has casted away the word plantation. It is considered to be exploitation, which was absolutely the case. Plantation was... Uh, so, so, now in America, they use the word orchard, they use the word farm, nobody uses plantation except for India, Indonesia and some Southeast Asian countries. Anyway, you have a right to do whatever you like, but the only thing is nobody else is using. But because the plantation carries a brand name. So let's go ahead with this, but today, tomorrow, you see what happens. So this is one which I wanted to tell. And very importantly is, the plantation, you know, the most of the plantation, you know, boards which were established, which I'll talk of, were established by Ministry of Commerce. Now, Ministry of Commerce, they were established because, uh, you know, the tea board, the coffee board, the spices, or consai. Rubber, it is under Ministry of Commerce, and one was more uh, tobacco board. Tobacco is another board, which is under ministry. Now, in India, you know, we work in silos. Hand does not know what the mouth is doing. Tongue does not know what the feet is doing. We have got a coconut board under Ministry of Agriculture. We have got a coir board under Ministry of MSME. There is no coordination among everybody. There are organizations, institutes which work under Ministry of HRD. India has got 53 state agriculture universities. Then we have got, uh, you know, the ICR Institute, again 50-60 institutes ICR. Then every ministry has got their own institute. I am not very sure that how they coordinate. Now, so plantation, you see any UN data. They include cotton, they include all horticulture crop, they include bamboo, they include forest plantation, they include tea, coffee, all these things are, but there are other parts of plantations also. If you see history, you know, the America plantation was, number one was cotton, where the slave trading was done from whole of Africa. So people were taken, even Mauritius. Indians were taken to Mauritius for sugarcane plantation. So plantation is, what we think plantation is very, very myopic. And therefore, I wish that, you know, in marketing, say if one brand is not working, we bring another brand. If one product is not working, we bring... So you can... Ex you, you are a great institute, uh, the plantation, that Upasi. 
So in case you, you know, take into your uh, this, all other crops I think will be, uh, grow uh, bigger. So this is my another suggestion, your choice. Anyway, it will happen. Whatever I am saying is happen, if not today, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, day after tomorrow. It's only a matter of time. Another thing. One thing I think I will not miss by word, India's exports are increasing like never before. For last uh, 12 years, India's export was hovering around uh, 300 billion US dollar. Now this was only the last year when the exports increased to 420 billion dollar. First time, first time. Never before. And you see you know, a lot of news report everybody seeing. But I think, did you see that India's trade deficit increased to 100 billion dollar in the first quarter? So the PTI person asked me, sir, what is your estimate, what trade deficit will be by the end of the financial year? I said, if 400 will happen, then people will kill me. But the fact that it would be not less than 300 under any circumstance. Now you come to import of India, what do we import? 85% of our petroleum is imported. Your number of cars are increasing. Those in the rubber industry knows. Cars are increasing and you cannot, under no circumstance, you can reduce this import. Pele eti tha, you know, I met uh, when he became governor after 10, 15 years in Uttar Pradesh. I'm just forgetting his name, a Marathi fellow. Ka, aapne bhot acha kaam kiya. He says, in my time, 10 years before, our dependence on petroleum was 70%, now it is 85%, tomorrow it will be 90%. You cannot, trade deficit India can only and only be reduced by agriculture. India's path of Atmanirbhar goes only through agriculture. Agriculture is totally neglected. At every, if anybody comes, a foreign delegatory, eh, Minister, Prime Minister, everybody come, they take them to Bangalore, Mumbai, Chennai, they take them to IT hubs, everybody forgets agriculture. And IT, I tell you, agriculture is indispensable. Without petroleum, you can live. Tum mujhe ek cheez ye bata do. Can you tell me that there are many machines, you can make one computer in a year, you can make 100 computer in a day, you can make 10,000 computer in a day, there is no machine on the whole earth which can make one apple. In 100 days, there is no machine which can make a leaf of tea. And it will not come. Productivity gain is modifying genetically already what he has given. And therefore, agriculture requires attention in innovation and, and policy incentives as well as the, the funding which is being done. So anyway, path. Now I tell you why I am telling you. Now, agriculture, I'm uh, very comfortable because, you know, not only I work with the PIDA uh, 30 years back, but I teach agriculture across whole of the world, 18 countries in Southeast Asia. You see, what we export, frozen shrimp, India is the top, top exporter on the world with 25%. Sugar is another thing which we export, but shrimp itself is uh, very big. Anyway, it does not fall under our purview. Castor oil is another, 87%, now 87% is the share in the world market. We are the leaders. Rice is one. Rice, we have got share 39.5%, 40%. Now we have bent the rice. Now this is the capsicum, the red chilies. The chili 67% falls under spices. India is the market leader. Cumin seed, 82%, we are the market leader in the whole world. Sesame seed, guar seed, again, traditionally we are the leader. These oil, turmeric, 64%. India is the market leader. What we export? These are the products in which we have got the largest share in the market. So I think, see what are the products coming from, uh, you know, our plantation sector? Castor oil is yes. Cumin seed, 83%. Then capsicum is yes. Tamarind is yes. So, you know, top three, four product comes from plantation, again with the spices. Then there are other products. Cumin seed crushed is another product. Then you, beet sugar, then you, beet sugar is okay. Coriander seed is around 39%. Dried onion powder is 33%. Then guar chhod dijiye aap. Cardamom, 26%. So, so many products. 
Number one, now, agriculture in India is always under attack at the international forums. India did not sign any FTA only and only because of agriculture. We are always blamed, you know, there was so big uh, farmer, uh, you know, hesitation. Farmers hesitate every time. I am sure you know it. So, with the farmer hesitation, if you see, we give MSP. MSP is always debated under WTO. India is under pressure. One thing, any political party has changed, but India's stand has not changed under the multilateral forum is, you know, the, the farmer subsidy. I'll talk later on this, maybe. Now, what do we import in agriculture? That was a good picture. But agriculture, what do we import? So herein, if you see, the palm is yes, eight, eight billion US dollar, eight plus five. We India import almost say ten billion US dollar of the edible oil, fifteen billion. This plus five billion soya bean. If you see the report of America, agriculture, and you get a better information, more accurate information, what is happening in India's tea industry, coffee industry, any of the agriculture from the US Department of Agriculture, then government of uh, state government or the government of India. Take it granted. What is going to be production in the tea, which we are not doing. Now, another thing is this, then cashew. Cashew is a plantation product. You don't consider, but the whole world consider cashew as a plantation product. So I think we need to follow the international norms. Cashew, 72% you import. Almonds, India is the, large, the largest importer of world. In the world. And then you see, so I have been then your product is uh, apple. Apple is another plantation product. Now you come is, hmm. These are the products in which India tops in terms of the imports. Cashew, 72% of the world cashew is imported. And I'm sure the plantation, uh, you know, the association should come forward. Are you sab cheez ko le lijiye. Expand your area. You become rich, you become big. And what we call is a multi-cropping. Putting other crops in. We call of crop rotation. There is a problem in tea, there is a problem in coffee. And this is the only thing which can, you know, take you ahead. Achha, palm oil. Wait, palm oil is another big plantation. There is an International Institute of Plantation Management in Indonesia, Malaysia. And this is again, they, they take only uh, palm oil. Because I teach in Malaysia, Indonesia also to the officers for last uh, many years, over decades. So I know plantation is yes. Then you see almond, 62%. Sorry. Ah. India is the only country where people take almond, only country, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all Southeast Asian. Almond is being sold. If you take almond, it will brighten you, you know. Buddhi bad jayegi aapki. Nowhere else on the earth. So it's a cultural problem, not the scientific problem. And science is mixed with culture to tell you that, you know, the science research has said. Like all political decisions, all economic decisions are political, scientific research is also political. If you want to know about it, I'll tell you how price variation takes place in the market based on the scientific research. Anyway, there are many scientists, you know, he will kill me. Now, crude palm oil, 54%. Mace is another product. Then you come to close, 33%, largest reporter on the earth. Can, you, can we not, uh, you know, grow the uh, close? We have got such big spices board working for so many years. And you don't blame the boards. Only you have to do spice board will not do it. You are the largest importer. Bamboo, 30% of the world bamboo. With the kind of the jungle. You know that uh, one uh, agriculture ministry, the secretary told me to do some research. Anyway, she got transferred and I came this place. On the bamboo, 30% India is a net. These are the products in which India is a net importer. Can you not grow it? India under no circumstance can be at nirvana unless we do it. So to the government, those are the government officers, trade deficit under no circumstance can be controlled unless agriculture is supported and given due attention. And you cannot mint the profit unless you do it. Close, we have been bamboo. Then you come the natural gums, olio resins. Then what is there? Fix. Dates. India is the largest importer of dates on the earth. 
लार्जेस्ट इंपोर्टर सोयाबीन लार्जेस्ट इंपोर्टर या तो आलमंड खाना कम कर दो दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल बट यू कैन नॉट डू इट बिकॉज समबडी एल्स वॉन्ट्स टू यू टू इट नाइंटी परसेंट नाइंटी नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द आलमंड सोल्ड इन दिस कंट्री कम फ्रॉम अमेरिका कैलिफोर्निया वर्ल्ड एंड कमीशन इज वेरी मच वरीड अबाउट यूर ब्रेन्स हेल्थ बिकॉज दे पुट द एड इन ऑल द लोकल लैंग्वेजेस तमिल तेलुगु एवरीथिंग दैट यू इट आलमंड एंड इफ यू अरे उसको छोड़ो एप्पल एप्पल कमिंग फ्रॉम वॉशिंगटन वॉशिंगटन एप्पल कमीशन हैज गॉट दे आर नेटवर्क अक्रॉस फाइव हंड्रेड सिटीज इन दिस कंट्री डज उपासी डज दिस काइंड ऑफ ए नेटवर्किंग एब्रॉड If you are not doing, you are an inward looking organization. Now you see palm oil, 8 billion, these are all net trade balance, negative trade balance. So I have been 400, these are negative. So trade balance is export minus import. Sunflower, palm oil, puri dunia ka tel Hindustan mein aajata hai. Hindustan mein agar hum tel lena ban kar denge, to wo log berojgar ho jayenge. Kyunki you buy. 70% of the oil prices of oil will fall cashew almond soybean oil ho gaya fir isme what is your product is just uh, fresh apple do you think india a country with plus 48 degree to minus 48 degree centigrade you cannot make fruits and vegetables koi duniya mein aisa phal aur sabji nahi hai jo hindustan mein na bana paaye and then we talk of atmanirbhar Another products, palm kernel, fix everything. Net, net, net negative trade balance. Cloves, pistachio, pepper. अरे काली मिर्च तो आप लोग उगाते हो वहाँ पे केरला में. We are a net importer of pepper on the earth. Largest importer of pepper. या तो काली मिर्च खाना बंद कर दो. गुंटूर से लाल मिर्च खाना शुरू कर दो. And we talk of atmanirbhar. So what happens says anyway. Politicians are right to say. They are not wrong. because they have to market the policy but i think what we can do is if you have to make india atmanirbhar and this is all area that you can capture cinnamon cinnamon ko kya kehte hain dalchini you are a net importer can't you produce but aapko spice board ka data dekhoge no kabhi nahi batate hain aap sarkar ka data dekhiye ke they never tell you because they do not know most secretaries do not know that we are importing more than we are exporting chickpeas then walnut in shell largest importer and net you know the net trade deficit kiwi is another bamboo net deficit 86 million us dollar bamboo whiskies oranges and do you know india imports more than it export india india import more vegetable than the export do cheeze policy makers ko pata hi nahi hai क्योंकि उनको जो बताने वाले लोग हैं ना आधा तो वो लोग इग्नोरेंट हैं। पीपल डोंट नो सो आई डोंट वांट टू टेल यू व्हाट इज एक्सपोर्ट देखो 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 वेट 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 एंड वट एवर दिस प्रोफेसर सेज आई सेव इज डेटा सो यू कैन नॉट क्वेश्चन मी दिस इज द इंपोर्ट रेड इज इंपोर्ट इंपोर्ट इज गोइंग अप थ्री पॉइंट टू बिलियन यूज डॉलर ऑफ फ्रूट वी इंपोर्टेड इन ट्वेंटी एंड इन ट्वेंटी वी एक्सपोर्टेड ओनली वन तो या तो हम फल ज्यादा खाने लग गए हैं या हमको उगाना नहीं आता है सो मच ऑफ द हॉर्टिकल्चर मिशन हॉर्टिकल्चर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टेट गवर्नमेंट है आईसीआर देन दिस इज द देखो प्रोफेसर क्या है कि आई एम ए ट्रेडिशनल ओल्ड फैशन प्रोफेसर विद वाइट ग्रे हेयर सो हम तो बच्चे को लास्ट में इवेल्युएट करते हैं वी डोंट पेम्पर द स्टूडेंट वेन एवरीबडी इज गेटिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स न्यू जनरेशन एवरी स्टूडेंट इन एस सी गेट हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स ना विदाउट नोइंग एनी so it is uh, you know just pampering the uh, children now you tell me and i tell you the few vegetables ab tum mujhe batao vegetable we import 3.2 billion dollar export 1.6 it's all true you can check this data and do you know india has got we have got 1/6 of the area that the china and america has got but in some cultivation india has got the largest area under cultivation problem is productivity problem is supply chain problem is wastage in supply chain and if you don't you you write it from this professor if you don't do it today 
and the agriculture remains in this thing in next 10 years 2032 india is going to be the largest importer of of, of agro produce in the world market is so big we are the largest consumer of sugar we are the we are the largest uh, producer of milk largest consumer india produces more milk than the whole of europe and africa produces we produces double more than double the milk than the america produces ईश्वर ने हमको कितना अच्छा वातावरण दिया है आप देखिए ऊटी जैसा एनवायरनमेंट आपको कहीं नहीं मिलेगा बेंगलोर इज वंडरफुल 1822 यू सी द कंट्री इज लाइक हॉलैंड द टेंपरेचर गोज माइनस सेवन कंट्री विद 1.25 परसेंट ऑफ द लैंड एरिया दैट इंडिया हैज गॉट एक्सपोर्ट्स थ्री टाइम मोर देन द इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट न्यूजीलैंड कोई कंट्री है लेस देन सिटी ऑफ बेंगलोर account for 27% share in the world exports where are you koi nahi batayega aapko hai now you you tell me after my this thing what is the solution and it and it will increase aap dekho dekho it is increasing vegetable how we have gone till 2017 we had a positive balance you are having negative this happens in uh, uh, lockdown wherein the population from urban areas moved to rural areas एग्रीकल्चर में तो हमारा बढ़ा है ना सो वॉट वी एक्सपोर्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर राइस मीट एंड फिश तीन ही प्रोडक्ट हैं बड़े आपके आवर टी कॉफी आर वेरी मार्जिनलाइज आई टेल यू आ दिस इज आई थिंक आई ओपनिंग क्लोज गोइंग डाउन दिस इज द निगेटिव बैलेंस ऑफ टेट निगेटिव इज एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इंपोर्ट सो दिस इज नेट यू आर इंपोर्टिंग मोर सी क्लोज देन यू सी यू नो दिस इज पीपर Kalimit, Kalimit. Eleven billion dollar. You know? huh? So you come from Kerala. So you are very uh, you know near to the nature. God's own country is Kerala. Look at it. ये क्या? Sirimaan. अरे I went to a very small country का Seychelles. Eighty five thousand की population है वहाँ पे. Seychelles. Sirimaan. ऐसा लगता है हम सिनेमा नहीं उगा सकते इट्स ए फेलियर इट्स ए सिस्टमिक फेलियर विदाउट अकाउंटेबिलिटी नो बडीज अकाउंटेबल अभी बताऊंगा बताऊंगा वेट वेट दे आर फोर इट्स टाइम फॉर प्लांटेशन इंडस्ट्री टू इंट्रोस्पेक्ट नाउ आई एल टेल यू दैट इंडिया क्रॉप एरिया हार्वेस्टेड एरिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ हेक्टेयर हैज इंक्रीज से आई हैव टेकन दिस डेटा फ्रॉम 1961 कोकोनट अरे कितना ज्यादा कर दिया है कैशू नट यू हैव इंक्रीज बट यू आर इंपोर्टिंग सो देर इज अंग इन जर्मनी दैट इफ एवरीबडी इज गोइंग अहेड एंड यू आर स्टैंडिंग स्टिल यू आर ऑटोमेटिकली गोइंग बैकवर्ड सो कैशू वी हैव गिवन इट टू इंपोर्ट इंडिया इज बिकम द लार्जेस्ट इंपोर्टर ऑफ कैशू या तो आप काजू खाना बंद कर दें गवर्नमेंट कैन डू दैट इट विल नॉट हैपन नंबर वन इंडिया पॉपुलेशन इज ग्रोइंग इट विल कम टू स्टेबल बट the population in other countries will decline more than india will and the b is the income level in this country is going so the income level grows you know the, the food consumption increases so from basics they shift to the uh, the better evaluated products erica nuts everything area is increased so aap jo mantralay ka data dekhte hain na ministry ka they say that we have increased the area we have done great koi minister to nahi hai isme erica nut now you see this your area compared with the world area in cultivation now you see the erica nut again 61 the area has increased absolute term but in terms of world it has come down cashew your area in in world in 84 85 which was 50% of the world cultivated area has declined to less than 16 17% of the area in cashew and as a result we have become a net importer of cashew in the world you take t the area increased in 93 94 and the area in 2019 it is going down t to aap log tk you are sitting in the hub of t so who you knows the pain in t area cost is high the price you are not getting in the market and india when enters into the import market the price of the whole world you know shakes just see the price analysis so i think it is decreasing ye kya t is decreasing 
coconut coconut absolute term it was increasing just go to the last slide your coconut area is increased go to the next slide the coconut area in terms of the world, uh, share is decreasing why because, because others are doing faster to coconut bhi bahar se mangana padega dukh se bhar gaya hu main then your tea production again now tea production in india is has gone up you know gone up substantially to 1424 almost this is this is the data 24 but the problem is the production of china has gone up multiple till 2003 china's total tea production was less which has gone up so much and i think kenya and sri lanka are again uh, doing it faster than you thode din mein hum khatam ho jayenge chai ke andar main dara nahi raha hu aapko aur dikha raha hu coffee look at coffee this is brazil देखिए 1700 से ऑलमोस्ट डबल ठीक है लुक एट द वियतनाम 700 से मोर देन डबल लुक एट कोलंबिया ओनली 20 इयर्स यू नो अगेन इंक्रीजिंग लुक एट इंडिया 292 से 298 एंड यू नो टी बोर्ड वाज मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग 20 इयर्स बिफोर देन टुडे दे हैड देयर ऑफिस अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड हांगकॉन्ग दुबई सिंगापुर मॉस्को न्यूयॉर्क लंदन पेरिस एंड देन इफ दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर देन इट रिक्वायर इंट्रोस्पेक्शन स्पाइस इज यस बट ओनली थिंग इज स्पाइस यू नो आवर यू नो द टोटल प्रोडक्शन इज इंक्रीज बट अगेन इफ यू सी टू थाउजेंड टेन वॉट यूर प्रोडक्शन इज डिक्रीज कोई स्पाइस बोर्ड वाला एनी बोर्ड पर्सन हैज ए राइट टू यू नो कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट मी आई लाम सर यू वी हैव गॉट मेनी डायरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम द बोर्ड्स टर्की टर्की यस लुक एट द प्रोग्रेस टर्की के अंदर वो इतनी अच्छी चाय पिलाते हैं गुलाब की चाय जैसमिन की चाय दे गेट द टी फ्रॉम यू एंड गिव यू सो ग्रेट टी वैल्यू एडिशन ब्रांडिंग एब्सोल्युटली मिसिंग एक्सेप्ट फॉर टू थ्री मल्टी यू वॉन्ट मी टू स्टॉप हाँ नो प्रॉब्लम एल स्टॉप you tell me i'll stop this is spice is spice you know the problem is then we need to you know because i'm not very uh, well versed i have to do the research on each of the spices where we are going up and where we are going down what are the areas that we need to identify in terms of the international acha rubber 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 just look at it थाईलैंड थाईलैंड कोई कंट्री है चेन्नई से भी कम पॉपुलेशन है पूरे कंट्री की 50 60 परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल जीडीपी ऑफ थाईलैंड कम्स ओनली फ्रॉम वन सिटी कॉल्ड बैंकॉक लुक एट लुक एट देयर प्रोडक्शन अरे एक थाईलैंड को तो खाली तमिलनाडु में आप लोग कर सकते हैं नो अदर स्टेट इज रिक्वायर्ड बट देर इज ए टोटल टोटल कॉलेप्स ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजी एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन इंडिया वी इंक्रीज Six ninety to nine. This, 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 this is the India one. Even ivory cost has reached us. वो कितना पीछे था 2000 में? Rubber. Now I have got more to tell you. India's share in world production. Now, if you see that despite of the increase in area, your share has come down. Cashew nut, your share has come down 21 percent. Cashew's share. which was very high in uh, you know almost more than 40% in 83 84 in the world has come down to 21% your consumption is more and therefore you import more chai ke liye to puchho hi mat aap log to kunur mein baithe hue hain i come from a desert state of rajasthan so i don't know this great climate 36% in 61 india's share has consistently come down to 21% now in the world production consumption is increasing production is not increasing एक बार एक टी बोर्ड के साथ मिल गए थे मुझे मे बी टू थ्री इयर्स बिफोर आई आस्क दम है सम सेक्रेटरी और चेयरमैन तो उन्होंने मैंने पूछा मैंने कहा आप क्यों नहीं करते हो आप कहते कि जी हमारा तो कंजम्पशन बढ़ता जा रहा है अरे कंजम्पशन तो ठीक है आपका प्रोडक्शन भी बढ़ता जा रहा है योर शेयर इज डिक्लाइनिंग शेयर इन कंजम्पशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड दे आर फोर टेक माई वर्ड दैट यू बिकम इम्पोर्टर नाउ द अगेन कॉफी 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 
Coffee we have done great from 61. We have gone to 95, 96, 9%, but again we have come to 7%. Natural rubber, India's share, sorry, this was rubber. Coffee we have done from 1 to 3%, natural rubber was 9 to 7%. Spices is yes. Now, export. And we export, all of you are exporting, but your export is dependent only on like one country called China and America. Most of this. China se toh jhagda chal raha hai, hai. Aisa hum kehte hai. But in the last year, China has become, now China has overtaken to be the largest trade partner, uh, America. And you see the growth of China, 2017 ke pehle nahi tha, all of you are exporting, so you know better than me. China has uh, come, the, this is all plantation taken together. Very quickly come out. Oh, other strategy, diversify. China agar mana kar dega, toh you'll be nowhere. Prices will fall. But you cannot do it. Jab tak profit milta hai, hum bishte jayenge. Only government has to do something. Import. Just look at a country called Vietnam. Has become a big supplier of spices to India. Very quick. Aap khari bavli Delhi mein chale jaiye, you find the, uh, the Vietnamese. Or Vietnam, I don't know how many of you know it. The third trade, uh, trade, trade takes place from China to Vietnam and Vietnam to China because we cannot do it to China. So that nuance also you need to understand because you know I need to finish fast. I have been given a red signal. How the China, you know, Vietnam has become a large supplier. Indonesia has become a large supplier so quickly. Now Indonesia is a country, tell Vietnam is a country. Can we not compete with the, that? 1.4 billion people on the earth. Largest populated country. So great brains. No, we are before 129 year old organization, never. Very importantly, with Mr. Cherian talked about the price volatility. Ek cheez aap achhi tarah samajh liji, likh liji isko kagaz mein. Price in agri commodities is not going to increase including plantation. To succeed, you have to control the entire value chain in terms of the cost. What you have to control? 2%. Price declined since 2016 T. I'm giving you an example, 2%. And from 2011, 2%. So price is declining in real terms. You see price is increasing real terms is after taking in account the inflation. I do this agriculture data with that OECD head of that, uh, you know, Hamuska Agri 2030 ka wo nikalta hai. That every year we come out with this. So I'm in that, uh, you know, in that big group. Last year I was with that OECD head. I'll show you this data. Dekho, OECD has talked about, sorry, uh, OECD and FAO, this is the information. It says that, you know, the price in real term, this is the OEC food price, in real term is going to decline by 20 and 31. Now you have to make your strategy now that whether you will be in the market or you will be out. Ye baki ke chai ke bagane bhi khatam ho jayenge ya rehenge ya aap soch This change in next 10 years, years for all agro commodities is going to decline in real terms, in real terms. This is all the FOE agro commodity CD data, so don't say the professor has made a calculation mistake. Professor does not. This, I think, last week I was talking about the milk. The price in real terms in all milk products are going to decrease. A chairman said, he 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 said, Say butter prices, which were 20 years before, which were to 4,000 US dollar a ton, came down to 1,100, went to 5,000, and then again came down. Wheat, price wheat prices in the international market are don't match in 72. I don't know you know or not, but I cannot tell you the story. It was probably the problem of the wheat prices. Problem of the wheat and the food prices. When the hesitation in Gujarat started, that you know that was, uh, Sampoon Kranti Andolan of Jayaprakash Narayan and Mrs. Gandhi had to put food is very important. Agriculture is very important for stability of the country. Huh? Because I have to finish. Competitive advantage. You know, spices, India has got a great competitive advantage. Over 11 to this, this is the RCA revealed competitive advantage which we have computed. Then we have computed this, you know, the tea we have got uh, better competitive advantage. Coffee is... Uh, 
you know, physical ground, but rubber, we find it difficult to have competitive advantages, RC. So that we have to take everything to be competitive advantage. What is to be done is a strategy that is differently come. I've also done this calculation uh, for different things. Spices, we are very competitive compared to our competitors, Netherlands and Turkey. Tea remains, Indian tea is competitive compared to China tea, but there is a flaw in the data is China produces green tea, we produce black. So all the, this is the four digit level we have done, but if I do on six digit, eight digit, so I think the different findings may come, but more or less we are. But in tea, what frightens me all the time, and it should frighten each one of you, the Kenya's competitiveness is almost 100 times more than India. Sri Lanka's competitiveness is also 100, 150 times. How, abhi to Sri Lanka mein problem hai, thik ho jayegi, long term, how your tea you keep competitive compared to the other countries. So think it over, think it over in your internal group. Coffee, coffee is another problem. Our competitiveness has declined from 15 to 20, from 1.4 to 1.2. So your strategy is, competitiveness of Colombia has increased. Significantly, so you coffee in the coffee if you don't do now. Vietnam, next is rubber. Rubber is a problem because India imports a lot of rubber now, and rubber, anyway, the competitiveness remains much below. One is the minimum where you can market to the international markets. It remains less, but if you see the Ivory Coast, are Ivory Coast is a country, Ivory Coast is a country for smuggling, Ivory Coast country for slave trading, Ivory Coast country for, you know, this, uh, Ivory smuggling. Incidentally, I worked across 33 countries in Africa, so I can tell to most Africans that I know more about Africa than most of them knows. Batao, you are not competitive to Ivory Coast. Therefore, the success mantra is, you identify inefficiency in the entire value chain. To be competitive in whatever I have talked about, I'll very quickly say is, another problem is coming the non-tariff barriers in the international markets. Under the WTO, when the, uh, you know, this is coming down, you are having a non-tariff barrier. There are many things which we can talk because I've done the FTA study for government of India for multiple things. But give you an example, geographical indication. Abhi mein chai ki bol ki iske stall pe gaya tea bol. So I asked him that, what is this? I said, this is a geographical indication. You cannot use it unless T-board gives you permission. Indicator succeeds if people know you beyond the uh, border. Like you go to the bazaar, like you go to the night, there. Gala dinner, the ball. I, I was not there. So you, you go for champagne, you go for scotch. Scotch cannot be produced anywhere on the earth other than Scotland. Champagne cannot be produced anywhere other than the Champagne area of France. You cannot market this as geographical indication. You know what uh, Champagne is all about, and you also know what a Scotch is all about. When we buy whiskey, every whiskey writes that it is blended with the Scotch. Koi likhta hai ki blended with Darjeeling tea. Ya, wo main dekha, there is Sikkim tea, there is an Assam tea, there is a Nilgiri tea, nobody knows. So, geographical in India, Tirupati Laddu ka bhi ek geographic indication hai. So people need to know about you, so it is more marketing. So your all indication have stuck only in regulatory framework, not beyond the market. Ah, dekho, ye, this is, I wrote a case for Oxford, say 17 years back, which I teach across all IS officers and foreign diplomats. I'm using them in their refresher courses in Masuri Vasuri mein mein karta hu. Sir, 5 minute ka time aur de do mujha. Darjeeling tea, I've just seen the logo, very fascinating. Darjeeling tea, the farmer get only two to three US dollar. Product is sold in the market 300 to 500 US dollar. Who is getting this profit? You are not getting. Marketer is getting. And the problem is article 23 and 24 of the TRIPS agreement of WTO, Darjeeling is a big brand of lingerie. In France, I had a sexy chitra, my editor had it. Otherwise, you feel good. T-board has fought a case, but they lost and not, why lingerie? Everything is Darjeeling because name is so, that is the beauty of the brand. So branding does not take place, so marketing is a very different subject. 
I can talk on that whenever I think you have time, but no time. Huh? There is a telecommunication equipment, everything is Darjali. It is fact, and I'm told that T-board 40 cases and they could not get anything. So the whole thing has become regulatory than marketing. So I'll talk about, and therefore, plantation boards. Let me talk of the Upasi first, because you are a uh, big organization, and I'm very happy that you know you are all who's who industry leaders in your own industry. You are decision making. You should compete what other promotional organizations are doing. Because you know, I did a study for restructuring last year, I submitted with the government of India, restructuring of all export promotion concepts. So I know functioning of EPC is very well. Anyway, these boards were uh, not in my purview, so I did not interact with them. The boards were given to the Niti Ayo, but this report with the Commerce Secretary, Anup Padhavan and me, we submitted to the, we went make a presentation to the Niti Ayo. But somehow this, because of the farmer's problem, they were not restricted, they'll be done now. Just look at it. Let's come to Upasi. California Walnut Commission says in Telugu that if you don't take walnut, you are missing something. How much they are worried? Because in Hindustan, if there is a walnut, then it is a benefit. Upasi has never done such a promotion in the country. Upasi is an involved organization. You go to the government, you write in the report, we get the joint secretary from the joint secretary. What is this? So it's an invert. So you have to come and market presence of Upasi is missing. It is not Upasi. Everybody, you are 10 times better, 100 times better than other trade associations. I have never seen such vibrancy and commitment in association I see. I'm dealing with this, at least in this country. California walnut. Who said, one walnut is empty, the whole family has put all walnut. And this is what makes India the largest importer of walnut on the earth. I'll show you. You see my another slide? California almond. California is coming from Hindi almond because 95% almond country or control in this country comes from California. And we eat it after the day. We go to Vaidya Ji and say, we eat it after the day, we eat it after the day, we eat it after the day, we eat it after the day. So it is how the product is being marketed. Did you market your tea, coffee, spices? In the international market like this, आप उपासी से एक international team बना लीजिए, go abroad, and you have to do it unitedly, individually you are doing I know, but in the in the dairy board also I was saying, मैं सारे chairman of all nationals को कह रहा था, भाई तुम पैसे दो हमको, and the international dairy federation will vouch for milk, so that milk is not replaced by soft drink. Milk is not replaced by fruit drinks. Milk is not replaced by, you know, almond drinks. And therefore, all of you unite and make a big plan for international. Aha! Only fresh apple in India comes from uh, Washington. So you make a plan. If you don't do it, I'm a professional, I can do work. I, I met somebody, somebody is, uh, you know, Gurmit Singh Sabse Mela is working with Unilever. He worked with Unilever. So professional can work with anybody, na? Jo acha dega, wahan chala jayega. So mujhko cotton USA walo, cotton USA. India is the largest producer of cotton on the earth. America produces only 75 percent of the cotton. Their cotton is three times price than India. So I did a textile study for the Ministry of Textile. I went to all fashion destination: New York, Milan, Paris, Rome. सबसे मिला मैंने किया उन्होंने कहा आप इतना अच्छा काम करते हो हमारे लिए काम करो अरे प्रोफेसर को क्या हम आपके लिए काम करेंगे सो यू डोंट डू आई वर्क विद समबडी एल्स एंड सी द स्ट्रेटेजी देयर कॉटन इज गेटिंग थ्री टाइम्स मोर प्राइस ऑल फैशन ब्रांड्स आर बाइंग फ्रॉम देम तो प्लीज डू इट आई बी विद यू तुम तो पैसे भी नहीं देते हो पैसे भी देना दिस इज द ओनली ब्रेड एंड बटर फॉर ए प्रोफेसर टू स्पीक नाउ because I have done a restructuring of all the export promotion councils, boards never came under us, but IIP is the only institute which understands all plantation sector, no other institute in the country. We have got a countrywide presence and we work with, with all boards, we have got very talented officers. If you see these are the, these boards were started, I think you know better, I don't want to, just see, 1953, 47, all now you see this is the total export in 21-22, 704, rubber board ka kam hai because this import is more. Now I am telling you this was the budget granted to them. 
except for tobacco body is not getting, but their exports is very impressive. So this was the budget granted on them, and what do they spend is this. T board, 45% is the establishment cost, 440 uh, crore rupees. 59% coffee board ka establishment cost hai. 67% rubber board ka establishment cost hai. And 61% uska establishment. The more money, theoretically, 90% of money should go on market promotion, not maintaining the structure. I will not comment on that, because government mein kya hota? Kabhi -kabhi parashani bhi hoti hai. Government cannot do the business. The government ka hai business hai ki, uh, there was a malay, there was a you know, rain in Bangalore. 24 hour ki rain ke andar, we started uh, you know, traveling by boats. Government should focus on this. Ye nahi hoga kaam. But I think you have a, uh, you know, a strategy to restructure this, you can tell me. And if anybody sitting from any of the board can contradict me on this now. As a professor, anybody sitting from the board can contradict me if I'm showing a wrong figure. Because I'm going to the Ministry of Commerce. Se hun, na? And therefore, secret is successes, increasing efficiency, cost, productivity, supply chain, marketing will do across the value chain. Sustainability across the value chain. Sustainability, carbon trading, on which we have to work very differently. We can sit together. Innovation. Key to success is innovation. I gave you the example of Darjeeling, to two to three dollars to five hundred, three hundred dollars. Rise on the value chain. Brands. Branding is another. I see that the board of promotion in the residential area is open to souvenir shop. It will not work. It will not work in that area. So, I'll tell you, IBF, India Brand Equity Fund Scheme is an epitome of failure. 30 years ago, the scheme was for brand promotion. The scheme was for brand promotion. Last. Huh? The scheme was for brand promotion. And what happened? We failed, or up to us, we have a little promotion. Karte. That was the scheme was basically conceptualized to give exporters an opportunity. Achha, last year, I also did the restructuring of MMAI, Market Access Initiative. Wo 300 crore dete the exporters ko. Maine kaha, bhaiya, inko 500 crore de do, because the exporters need money to go abroad. Sarkar ne usko 200 crore kar diya, because they don't have money, but they have money to spend on the. Develop national brand and you take internationally. And therefore, they keep Sarkar ke Barose Matraya. In America, Walnut, Almond, Apple. These are the private organizations, private organizations, not government. Only you can do it, government cannot do it. My last message. Only you can do it. So don't depend so much on the government. It is beyond their capacity. And don't blame the government also. But I think the government is very positive. Subse important, the government wants a positive trade-off balance. Government in this country, under no circumstance, can neglect farmers. 60% of the population depend on farming-related activities. And therefore, I think you, such a vibrant, such wonderful organization, as a hall manager in the game, Dubara ni dekha. Kabi ni dekha. Except for Sanjeev showed me, he brought me once. I have never seen in my life. So only you can do it. You must uplift yourself by your own self. You should never degrade yourself by your own self. You yourself is your best friend. And nobody can harm the plantation industry except for you yourself. So only you have to unite. United we stand and divided we fall. Work unitedly. And lastly, we are always there to support you. Marketing. Involve our strategy. I've got highly talented professors. Me, me. Involve them. Put them in your boards. Interact with them. Take advantage of wisdom. And we work collaboratively. We talk with the international organizations. And I think, you know, uh, I'm very sure that, you know, with this Upasi kind of the initiative, and I think, you know, it's amazing the kind of the exhibition I've seen. I keep on going every day. It's, it's amazing the way you have organized. So I wish all the best and thank you so much. Namaste and Vandane Galu.
Thank you, Professor Joshi. And uh, Upasi will look forward to collaborating with IIPM uh, for developing market strategies for our plantation crops. On behalf of Upasi, let me give you a small takeaway gift. 